All right, we're back for the second time tonight. Um, this video is I'm gonna show you guys how I run the game. Um, this is about the scaling thing. Like I've had to tell a lot of people, you really don't need like it's not only that you don't need to run out 400 or 300 or maybe sometimes even 200 depending on what resolution you're playing at. But um, you really don't need to do that. Like especially if you're running JBX. And also, like, my truck. I can't speak for other creators. I know that I use bigger textures, so that way it looks better natively. And um, all the screenshots and everything that I take, uh, I'm at 100% scaling. So this is for people with NVIDIA cards. Um, if you have an AMD card, which I used to have, I wish I still had one because I'd plug it in and do another video. Um, I can't remember how those really work that well and I know it's they've updated a lot of their stuff so I'm I'm sure there's videos out there this is this is for Nvidia people because that's what I have so the first thing you want to do is like right at your desktop just right click and go to the Nvidia control panel that'll open up here if it doesn't open you up to this page Go to manage 3D settings. And uh, you know what I'll do? I'll uh, make this a little bit bigger for you guys. I play at 4K with like the monitor pretty close to my face. So. Alright. <laughs> so this is probably too big. <laughs> yeah, that's stupid. Oh, man. Oh, uh, how, well, how is that recommended? See, scaling. See, this is all about scaling, and that's my point. Like, that's kind of what you're doing. <laughs> it's like, why would you do that? <laughs> Anyways, so one, 125, right? Probably see the screen a little bit clearer. I'm not sure. Anyways, so go to Manage 3D Settings. Um, After that, you come over here to Program Settings. And see, mine has Blender pull up, but uh, what you need to do is let's see if I even have it in here. I might have had it cleared because it updated, but okay. So this is perfect. So you go to Add, all right. Then, I have it in here already, like, to come up, but, uh, for recently used, but, for, if for whatever reason, you're gonna wanna go to the drive that your Steam is on, or wherever you save that, and then you're gonna go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, American Truck Simulator, Bin, uh, 64, and then click that, but we don't need to do that. I'll just do it like this. Okay, so now it's in here. And I, all right, so it remembered the settings, it just didn't pop up for whatever reason. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna turn off the global setting. Next thing you're going to do for the filtering here, the anisotric filtering, you do all the way at a 16. <laughs> then for the aliasing FXAA, you turn that on. Gamma correction, you turn that on aliasing mode you want to override any application setting you want your anti-aliasing set to 8x or if you have a lower end computer you can set this to 4x 2x I promise you though it'll still look better than the in-game scaling then the transparency I have it set to 8 but you know that's um like I said about the other option is uh, realistically like if you have a lower end computer you can still set that accordingly 
and uh, you know you'll you'll still yield better uh, like results like looking and performance than in the in-game scaling. Then low latency mode, I have that set to ultra. Multi sampled AA or multi frame sampled AA, I have that turned on as well. Some people might argue with this. Sometimes you can actually get a clearer picture with it turned off, but I play at a higher resolution. If you play at like 1080, I'd probably keep that off. Turn your shader cache on. You want your, uh, what is it? I can't actually read all of that. It's texture filtering anti an anisoptric. So I anis so yeah, I can't even say that. You guys are probably cracking up right now. Anisotropic sample something. Just have that on or off. I mean, <laughs> set that to off. And then your uh, texture filtering for your level of detail bias. You want to clamp that. Then you put your uh, filter texturing at high quality. Then you turn your triliner optimization off. And then this is also really important. This I feel like this is the most important thing for your vertical sync. The game's V-sync is terrible. It's it's really it's seriously garbage. So the best way to do that is you override it. And I use the fast setting. And what the fast setting is, you can read it down here. The GPU renders unconstrained, similar to VSync off, but does not tear since frames in excess of the refresh rate of the monitor dropped. Delivers latency that is very close to VSync off with no tearing. So basically, what that'll do is that helps the like big texture pop-ins when you like roll into like a city or something. It's just the way the game engine is because it's so old. It trade like it loads a lot of the assets like almost at one time. If you don't have a fast CPU, that's why you'll get that chug. That's not my fault. That's the that's the game. But this this really helps that. So, I mean, I would say like ninety ninety nine percent recommend. And that's only because I, I'd never go one hundred on anything. But after all that, you just hit apply. So now that's all set. We'll. Uh, Put my display settings back to 100, and I'll show you guys the game. And how I have it set up in here. Oh man, I don't even own a truck right now. Let me load a game, previous game. This is from the last video I did. <laughs> It'll load in for me just fine because, you know, I've been using the truck. But, um, so. See, even at 4K, I run 125, but I'll put it at 100 just to prove my point. Um,. So you turn the anti-aliasing off, you uh, turn your SSAL off, you want to have all of this on. I run my reflection, uh, reflection scaling at 200, you know, high, high. This is custom from, you know, just JBX. I'm not running that right now. Uh, the biggest thing I would say is, is for your mirror resolution too. That's why... And here, I can actually put this on high to prove my point with the 100% scaling. See, I prefer to actually run just the slightest amount of scaling and turn my mirrors down, but that's, that makes things a little bit more complicated. Then, you know, so I have, like, everything just maxed out. 100% scaling. I only have a little rise in 2600. I'll turn my reshade off. That's also why I run the lower. Oh, come on, 
Look at that. That's beautiful. Can't tell me that that is not super clean and looks better than scaling. It, it just, you're not going to convince me. Because look at how much cleaner the, the chrome textures and everything are. This is, if anyone's wondering how I get such good, uh, you know, like, pictures, this is, this is it right here. Anyways, hopefully this helps you out. Even with any, any truck. Any truck just playing the game. Not even just my stuff.